Hi everybody, it's me Henry and welcome to my channel. In a previous video, we did talk about the benefits of the eye contact, the power of the eye contact that we can we can build a connection with the audience that we can check and balance project your authority your confidence and engagement there's so much more than that and today in this video we're going to talk about the million dollar questions which is the how i know eye contact is good but how are you going to make it so let's start this And here we are, we're gonna start with tip number one, which is look at your audience as in like your friend, be friendly, your eye contact. You see, when you come on the stage after the MC or somebody introduce your background, blah, 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 blah. When you come on the stage, everybody make noise. Woohoo, everybody is happy to have you on the stage. So what is the first thing you wanna do? Now, in my opinion, the very first thing is the eye contact. Assuming you already have the voice projection, you already have the intonation skill, appearance, bullets, your points, information, you have everything. And the thing that you can continue to make connection with your audience is the eye contact. So you see the eye contact, you can make your audience to be part of your speech, they feel comfortable, they feel welcome to your speech. I want to be part of your speech. When I ask questions, you will just answer me. When I want to get interaction, you will respond to me. That is the effective communication to the public. So you see, our eye contact, it can deliver different kind of message. It could be different kind of the mood. Just imagine if I look at you as an audience in this way. Hi. Welcome. Welcome to my speech. Welcome everybody. How do you feel? Are you doubting me? Or are you in a bad mood? And then the speaker, look at the audience in a friendly way. Hi. Is this like when you look at friend? Hi. Welcome everybody. Uh, well, today we're going to talk about the benefits of the eye contact. So if you're ready for this, let us all clap your hands, blah, blah, blah. You can get them to do some interaction some respond to you to make sure they're listening to you to make sure they stay awake yeah yeah i'm part of it yeah i'm not falling asleep so you have to make sure in this way your eye contact you need to keep on uh, connecting to your audience so that they won't get lost they won't get lost in the wonderland and start to score their phone start to chit chat with the friend next to them then it's pretty hard for you to grab them back to your speech uh, with the connection Right, so the first tip is look at your audience with a friendly eye contact. You get what I mean? Yeah, friendly eye contact. Be friendly. Make sure they are comfortable with you, talking with you. Only when they're comfortable, they like you, they will stay connected, continue to listen to you, to give you a response. So moving up to tip number two, which is sustain the eye contact long enough. Wow, what does that mean, long enough? Is that... I need to look at you for five to ten minutes. That is not the eye contact. That is the the love, fall in love. That is not the eye contact. That is fall in love with somebody else in the room. So in the public speaking or you're delivering a speech in a huge room, you have the audience. And your audience is everyone in the room. So you, you have different areas. You have front, you have middle, you have back, you have left and right. So you have to sustain your eye contact long enough the definition of the long enough is three to five seconds it can you can divide it into a different area different people if you have more than one then look at your audience for example i greet to my audience at the back hey how how's everybody there are you feeling okay yeah how are you today and to the front hey what about the people in the front how are you so everybody feel like you're paying attention to me. Oh my God, the, the speaker is paying attention to me. So I'll be more than happy to be part of your speech. I'll give you more response. So this is what I mean. Pay long enough, three to five seconds. That's it. Do not less than that and do not more than that. If more than that, it can be weird. If you look at your audience, uh, it's so long and keep talking and keep talking. So what about the media? What about 
at the right hand side, my right hand side. So they will feel like you are like neglecting me, <laughs> ignoring me. So once you have that neglecting this word, your connection will lose, will just disconnect it. And what they're going to do, they will find something to do when they feel bored. The first thing to cure their bored is the phone. Start to score phone, that's it. It's very hard for you to put them back again. So tip number two is stay long enough with the audience. This side, this side, this side. You need to find a balance point. A conclusion for point number two is you have to make sure you stay connected with all the audience. That's it, because you are talking to all of them. Try your best to stay connected. And moving up to tip number three, which is correlated to tip number two, and you have uh, sustain long enough eye contact with the audience and next tip number three is wait for the response from the audience so you see sometimes when you ask question are you hungry are you feeling hungry and your audience want to give you a response yes and then when the time and then you turn your attention to the next yes i know you are hungry so or how does it feel to your audience? Feel like embarrassed? I want to give you a response, but when the time I want to give you a response, then you turn your attention to the other person. So I feel like embarrassed, and I don't want to get hit by the second embarrassed again if you ask for the second question. So I'll be like, I don't want to get embarrassed, so better I don't want to give any response. So as a speaker, you need to give enough time wait for the response then uh, yeah i know you're hungry that's that's why our food is coming up is ready to be served so yeah i feel like yeah you're giving me response and i'll give you response to a communication so you need to make sure you have the right engagement with the audience then only they feel comfortable they feel relaxed and joy uh, to listen more to you that's the reason why some people they love to listen to comedians if you're like very happy and a comedian they make jokes to the audience and that is the moment that they have the response interaction so eye contact is very important and moving up to tip number four is respect to those who are not comfortable now see in in this room not everybody is comfortable to keep the eye contact with the speaker all the time and look at them sometimes when you look them in the eye they feel like whoa i looked at another side and you don't need to keep on go go the front of, of the audience and keep looking at, at them so it's kind of weird we just need to accept the fact that not everybody is the same if the audience is not comfortable looking at you just leave it All right or look at the friend next to the audience it's just to make sure back to the baseline which is you need to make sure your connection is do your best is connecting to all of the audience you have to make sure this don't look at the audience if they're not feeling comfortable be res just respect them and moving on to tip number five which is very important tip number five is do not read the script do not read the script from the paper or the screen at the back at the powerpoint so you see when the time you start to read where you're looking at for sure is the paper the eye contact the power of the eye contact is the connection so when you look at the paper which one you are connecting to connecting to the paper or the people so once you look at the paper for a long period of time keep on reading and reading and reading so your eye contact is disconnected with the audience and disaster will happen they will lose the connection with you and you don't serve the purpose the reason why they are here they spend their time their money their energy to be here to listen to you if you just read from the script why don't they just download the mp3 or you just record the audio file and send to out of them this is not serve the purpose right so as a speaker be alive to make sure your speech during your presentation is alive 
make sure they stay connected, they enjoy, comfortable. That's the best way you can deliver your message into them in the super effective way. And that's the reason why you can see some, some people, they say, I like this speaker because this speaker is humor and is able to make the clear explanation. I like the point. You see, this is the way how they make the connection with the audience and engagement and all those things. So I hope you can find the values from all of these five tips and I hope you can apply to your next presentation or your speech and I hope you can grow, continue to grow, continue to improve and if you're looking the ways how to improve your public speaking, this channel, this video is for you. If you enjoyed this video, if you like this video, please consider to hit the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications and I'll see you in the next video.